Hey guys, Jake here, coming at you with another math problem today. I wanted to show you some exponential growth and decay bacteria problems. So I wanted to show you how to do this example right here. So we're gonna do this one. A bacteria culture grows with a constant relative growth rate. The bacteria count was 400 after two hours and 25,600 after six hours. And this is actually gonna be a three part question. So part A is what is the relative growth rate? Express your answer as a percentage. Part B, what is the initial size of the culture? And part C, find an expression for the number of bacteria after T hours. So this is actually gonna build off of one of the formulas on my integral calculus cheat sheet that I came out with recently. There's a link down in the description and in the pinned comment below if you wanna check that out. But basically that equation or that formula that's on there is if we know that a, a population or you know whatever the thing is that we're measuring grows has exponential growth or exponential decay. In this case, we have exponential growth, obviously, since our population is growing. Um, but if we have that kind of continuous exponential growth or decay, basically we can model this using a formula that looks like this. Y of T equals Y sub zero times E to the K times T, where Y sub zero is the initial population or the initial value of the thing that we're measuring. E is always gonna be E k is a constant which is the relative growth rate so k is kind of what we're getting at for part a to find the relative growth rate of this this population of bacteria um, i have done another problem kind of like this and i'm going to follow a similar uh you know process to how we did it in that other example if you want to see the other uh, exponential growth and decay bacteria problem i did you can click up there at the top of your screen that'll take you right over there um, but Basically what I did there and what I'm going to do here is we want to actually start with part C because I think it's actually easier to uh, You know kind of work with this expression and work with this formula from my calculus 2 study guide in order to figure out the relative growth rate And actually the initial size of the culture as well So we're going to kind of use this formula to kind of work our way backwards to solve part A and part B And once we figured out part A and B that would you know basically give us part C based on this form before I jump into that though Please, if you're finding these videos helpful, be sure to hit that like button down below, hit the subscribe button, hit that little bell icon too. Only like 2% of the people who watch my videos are actually sub subscribed to my channel. So if you're one of part of the 98%, hit that subscribe button. Make sure to join the Jake's Math Lessons community so we can keep uh, you know helping you with homework and tests all term and keep crushing it on calculus. Um, but let's go ahead and jump into this problem. So like I said, we're gonna kind of use this formula um, you know, this this Y sub zero, our initial population of the bacteria, obviously we don't know that. Um, but what we do know is basically two different points that lie on this function. So basically these pieces of information right here that we have 400 bacteria after two hours and 25,600 after six hours, that actually tells us two points that lie on this function. So Obviously, this function is meant to be a function of time, right? T is our input variable. So our output variable would then be the population of the bacteria. So what that tells us is at two hours, we have 400 bacteria. That tells us the point that that represents is two comma 400 because two is our input, 400 is our output. And then this one, after six hours, we have 20, 25,600. So that gives us the point six comma 25600. So these are basically the two points that we know lie on this function. So what we can do actually is plug each of these in to our equation and create a system of equations that we can then solve. So doing that basically just means that we're plugging in our input for t and then we're plugging in our output for y of t because this function should output the number of bacteria after t hours. So doing that is gonna give us, uh, first we'll plug in this first point, so we'll get 400 equals y0 times e to the k times two. And then plugging in this point, we're gonna get 25,600 equals y sub zero times e to the k times six. So, like I said, what this has done is it's created a system of equations for us because now we have these two unknown things, right? We have y sub zero and we have k and we have two equations. So we should be able to solve for these using two equations, solve for two unknown pieces. So first of all, let's just kind of simplify this a bit. 
So, I mean, there's not, not gonna be a ton that we can do to simplify this, but, uh, you know, first of all, basically we can just simplify our exponent or our power, just multiplying two times K just gives us two K. And then the other one, 25,600 equals Y sub zero E to the six K. All right, so with a system of equations, there's usually two different ways we can solve those. In this case, the easiest way to solve this one is probably gonna be with substitution. So what that means is we can take one of our equations, solve it for one of our variables or one of our unknowns, and then plug that into the other one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this first equation and I'm gonna solve for y sub zero. So to do that, all we really have to do would, would be divide both sides by e to the 2k. So doing that will give us y sub zero equals 400 over e to the 2k. Okay, so now what we can do is we can take this y sub zero and plug it in to y sub zero into our other equation. So doing that is gonna give us 25,600 equals 400 over e to the 2k times e to the 6k. And how this is actually gonna simplify is the e to the 6k divided by e to the 2k, this 2k is gonna cancel with two of these k's and we're just gonna get e to the 4k. So this just tells us that we have 25,600 equals 400 times e to the 4k. And then we can just solve this equation for k. So dividing both sides by 400 would be the first step. which gives us 64 equals e to the 4k. Then if we take the natural log of both sides, that'll cancel out the e. So we'll get natural log of 64 equals 4k. And then we can divide by four, giving us k equals natural log of 64 divided by four, which if you plug that into a calculator, would just give you 1.0397. So K, like I said, represents the relative growth rate of this problem. Since part A asks us to find the relative growth rate, but remember we want to express it as a percentage, we would just take 1.0397 and express that as a percentage by just moving the decimal over two places, giving us 103.97% per hour. So 103.97 would be our relative growth rate. Now what we need to do is find the initial size of the culture, which again, if we just solve for K, which was 1.0397, if we plug that back now into what we had here for Y sub zero, which represents the initial population of bacteria, plugging that K value in there should give us our Y sub zero. So plugging 1.0397 in for K right here is gonna give us 400 over e to the two times 1.0397. And if you plug that into a calculator, that just gives you 50. So basically that tells us that our initial size of the culture is 50 cells, 50 bacteria. So now plugging both this K value and this Y sub zero value into this equation that we, we started with, which tells us an expression for the number of bacteria after T hours, that's gonna give us the solution to part C. So that's just gonna be Y of T equals Y sub zero, which again was 50, times E to the K, which was 1.0397 times T. So this is our expression that tells us the number of bacteria after T hours. So again, if you found this video helpful, please be sure to hit that like button down below, hit that subscribe button, join the Jake's Math Lessons community, and we'll keep crushing it all term. Thanks and see you next time.